Is everything he said true? Yes, it is. He was in the hospital six weeks before he passed. He is television's most famous medium, and tonight, James Van Praag is having Hollywood visions. There are some extraordinary stories in James's book, uh, Talking to Heaven. Uh, Sue and Don Raskin's story is one of them. Their 33-year-old son, Douglas, fell to his death climbing Mount Fuji in 1994. They now say they have proof that he was in touch with their dead son, Douglas. And what is that proof? Well, the proof is that James told us when we went to see him that there was a helicopter involved. And we said, no, no, there was no helicopter involved. And he also said that we would be getting pictures from um, after Doug died, that we would be getting pictures of Doug climbing Mount Fuji and right before he fell off of the mountain. And we said, no, no, there was no pictures found. Mm -hmm. Well, four months, well, I guess about three months later, we got a bill for $10,000 for the helicopter. Then we got a phone call that they had found his camera. The climbing crew went back and they found his camera, and they developed the pictures, and they send them to us, and we have them. Sure enough, it was just what James said. It was the pictures of Doug before he started climbing the mountain, and about 20 minutes before he fell off the mountain. That's also, the picture? That's, that's the picture. Wow, yeah. Yeah. That's that's it the came picture. after he told you that a picture was coming? After he told us. That's after James told us. He also told us that we would be getting a picture with a message on it, and on the corner of the picture, it said, I love you. This is the picture. How'd that get on there? When he was in first grade, he says, he knew his teacher's son would be in an accident before it happened. And I ran up to her and I said, your son got hit by a car. Um, but he's okay, he's okay. He, he just, he broke his leg, but he's okay. And she looked at me and she said, you go back to your seat right now. And I thought, okay. I just wanted to tell her what I saw. Ten minutes later, the principal informed Van Prague's teacher that this accident had occurred. He goes, how'd you know that? And I, was, I was started crying. And I was very scared. The reason why was because I thought I caused that accident to happen. Because I knew it was going to happen. I thought I caused it. And I thank God to this day that lady said to me, no, 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 James. Don't worry. Don't worry. God gives special people special gifts. And one day you'll use those gifts to help people. As I'm standing here before, this German Shepherd runs right up and jumps on you. The dog appreciates you carrying it because you had to carry the dog. You understand, please? Yes, sir. I know there's a picture you have of this animal, okay? Yes. And um, very, very beautiful. I can only tell you that this animal appreciates all that you did for it, and the animal was in pain, and its hind legs were not good. Yes, exactly. My experiences were were actually extremely compelling and extremely convincing and none of the things he said to either of us were anything that would ever be researchable. I have to say it's something that's, that I believe has happened. I know there are two hospitals that they wanted to bring him to, okay? I don't know if one was full and they had to go to another hospital. How did you know that? Because that's what he just oh told Oh my God. That's what he just told me. That is absolutely true. Who's AMA? -A? Amanda. Amanda. Who is that? <sighs> This is a lady that wants to say hello to you. And this lady, Amanda, wants to give you her love. Did she talk to you about verses from the Bible or try to teach, ever teach the Bible? I'm married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because she's showing me the Bible. OK? Because she comes in with her Bible. She's very proud of her Bible because I get different things in different ways, okay? And what I picked up with this man standing here was um, gunpowder. He's, his heart is torn, too. His heart is torn, too. And um, he's here with you very much. I know this thing, did he buy this yes. for you, please? Because he keeps on holding this. And he said, <laughs> I bought it for her. Okay. And he said, he said to me, she wore it today because she knew that would attract me. <laughs> that make sense? Yes. Barbara's heart surgery, breaking news. Did this famed medium see it coming? He said, there's something wrong with your blood. Even Cher had a reading after the death of her ex-husband, Sonny Bono. I spoke to Cher about her earrings, that she was sitting down in her closet the night before, looking at a pair of old earrings that he gave her. I said, that's exactly what I was doing. Farrah Fawcett's best friend, Alana Stewart, sits down for a tearful reading from James Van Praagh. 
She said that? She said, thank you for wearing my bracelet. And Alana said, I'm wearing it right now. Here it is. And she showed it to the camera. Is she that gave a bracelet? this to me for my birthday two years ago. James is being put in the right place at the right time only because he's listening to spirit. If he had a closed mind and he wasn't listening, he wouldn't be anywhere. I've seen James five or six times now, and I, that's one thing that really impresses me about him is the detail that comes through, the things that nobody else would know about. Tonight here at the Queen Mary, a ship known worldwide for hauntings of our very own. Are these owners going to learn that their items are truly possessed, or are we simply in for a night of great ghost stories? I get a creepy, scary, like a feeling of it's not settled and it's like some, uh, some deaths were uh, unwrongly done with these instruments. You won't believe who he made contact with. James Von Prague is a great man. He and I have had the opportunity to get a unique friendship going. I always kind of feel him in a strange way. Celebrity ghost whisperer James Van Prague's warning for Britney Spears. And what he's been able to share with me has been extraordinary. There are two ghosts on her. What happened here even had me surprised. I do believe Sonny has helped her. I can't tell you how many times he's been right. There's a much bigger picture going on here. Oh. You do angels or work with angels or do something with having angels? My name is Angel. Oh! <laughs>